Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you for being out here on such a gorgeous day. Um, if these flowers were real, they'd be blooming in today's sunshine. Um, I'm Jennifer Van Branken. We are so excited to be here in front of um, East Jefferson General Hospital celebrating our healthcare community this morning. I want to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. And if Jack Rizzuto, who is a former colleague of mine on the council, but also uh, a former East Jefferson board member, could lead us in the pledge. Jack. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Jack. I want to also note um, Constable Alan Leone is here, uh, our other elected official in the audience, former um, Judge Hans Liljeburg as well. Um, a few years ago, we named the road that runs around East Jefferson General Hospital Healthcare Heroes Way. We wanted to make sure um, all of the people working at EJ knew how much we appreciated them. Then we painted a traffic light box and again said all, he um, all heroes don't wear capes, you know, to the effect of um, they are, there are superheroes in this building. But the more we thought about it, we thought there needed to be a bigger way to say thank you. And thank you to um, a number of people. We wanted to say thank you to all of the healthcare heroes that are in the building for sure. But we also wanted to say thank you to all of the board members um, at East Jefferson Hospital who for so long really, um, I know, took it very personally. Um, how many hours they spent, how much heartache they had. Um, when EJ was struggling and we were trying to find a future for it, um, the work of that dedicated board, we wanted to say thank you for finding a path forward for East Jefferson, for keeping these doors of this community hospital here to serve um, East Jefferson. And a thank you to LCMC for seeing the potential at East Jefferson and saying, yes, we want to come forward. We want this to be an LCMC facility. And um, again, continue to serve the community in the way that LCMC does. Um, and so it's thank you to all of those different entities and thank you to the people who will pass here every day because when we asked um, our East Jefferson community's permission to sell East Jefferson to LCMC, 95% overwhelmingly said absolutely yes. Um, and that is a phenomenal um, number to, to, to get behind the effort. And so this thank you, this 24 foot thank you, um, will be something each and every member of all of those groups every day get to see and know how much uh, they're appreciated. So um, Henry Shane was the one that as we talked about this thank you and this, this idea and making sure that we were able to document it in such a beautiful way, Henry stepped up as he always does um, and makes a vision turn into a reality. So Henry, if you would. Thank you, Jen. And my wife, Pat, and I, I as many of you all probably know, we've donated about 80 sculptures now, both in Jefferson Parish, in the Metairie area, and the Kenna area. And uh, just last weekend, they named it the sculpt Sculpture Trail after the Henry Shane Sculpture Trail. So that was pretty cool, Jennifer. But no, this was Jennifer's idea, and uh, it was one, you know, and we thought, thought about it uh, uh, during COVID, and I said it in the newspaper article yesterday, we were, be we were in our, hiding out in our house, you know, wondering when, what we we're gonna die or what's gonna happen to us. And employees were over here working in the hospital with the same kinds of pressure. So it, it was a tremendous, uh, I guess, leap of faith for them to be here and to continue to work. I was on the board of the hospital for 30 years. When I got on the board, we didn't even have, we had shell parking lots. They were no paved parking lots. So I've seen it grow over the years and I've seen it prosper and I've seen it move into the situation where LCMC came in and, and actually saved the day for us. But uh, I, this, this sculpture, Louise Colomineris is here. Where's Louise? Right 
Yeah, there he is. This man built this sculpture during COVID. What it was supposed to be, it was going to travel from community to community to thank hospital employees for their services. It never really got, I guess, wings on, in that respect. So he had it. And I've used him on three or four other jobs, and he, he showed it to me. And I was really super impressed with it and then the workmanship. This is a lot of work, uh, uh, I guess months and months, maybe even years of work. So he finished it for us, and I think it's truly one of his masterpieces. And this gentleman does many, many, many pieces of uh, sculptures and paintings, and this is truly one of his masterpieces. So I'm just so proud to be a part of uh, with Jennifer to thank everybody, and I see many of y'all here in the audience, and it, uh, and I got to recognize Jim Hudson because he was on the board a lot, more, a lot of years too, maybe 20, huh? 26. So we we seen a lot of stuff happen, and we're so happy. It was really the staff that kept us together. You know, it wasn't the numbers, it wasn't the economic. The economics were terrible. It's just our staff continued to make it just grind it out and give us at least the ability to get a, 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 a sale to LCMC. So with that, uh, yeah. Well, you said the, the sculpture's Bouquet of Hope. Bouquet of Hope. Well, on all, I didn't name it. I named it the Bouquet, but we can change it to the Bouquet of Hope. That was on all your engineering plans. All the sculptures that we donate or have to be engineered for 130 miles an hour winds. Because if not, you would see a flower going across. <laughs> so they're all super designed to be able to stand the wind. Uh, the only one, that's the, uh, the Lynn Emery one here turns, but the parish uh, has agreed to take it down in the event of a storm. That's that one that had damage across the Homer Boulevard. I didn't design that one. We bought. She was. She had died, and we bought it after it was built. Ty, right, come on up. I think everybody knows Greg Burns. Thank you, uh, thank you, Henry, and thank you, Council Member Van Ranken. Um, we appreciate all your efforts and the efforts of your team to help bring this to life. Um, as Henry said, I'm CEO of LCMC Health. Uh, couldn't be more excited to be here today. Um, and Henry, uh, perfect timing. Uh, this is uh, Nurses Month and Hospital Week and Nurses Week. I think there's a celebration that'll happen here tomorrow evening. Um, so perfect timing and such a wonderful recognition. I'll tell you the the article online and the article in the in the paper this morning doesn't do its do it justice in terms of size and scale. Um, just a, a wonderful gift and recognition um, of what everybody does here each and every day at, at East Jeff and in healthcare, frankly. Um, Henry, you've always had a steadfast commitment to Jeff Parrish, and you've mentioned your years of service to East Jeff on the board. Um, I've been in and around hospital boards for a long time. It's it doesn't pay any money, and it's not easy, <laughs> and it's a lot of time. So, uh, so thank you. Uh, you were actually here along with your fellow board members and witnessed firsthand what a phenomenal effort and heroic effort it took all of our staff, doctors, nurses, uh, everybody, um, to get through the pandemic. Um, and we, LCMC Health, couldn't be more delighted to be here with, with East Jeff uh, it's been a, an exciting year, and it's going to be a really exciting future. The, the loyalty of our team, um, and for you to recognize them with beauty like this, uh, that gives our team dedication and, and the, the wherewithal to continue to do what they do uh, each and every day, and do it in times like a pandemic or hurricanes or other life-changing events. So, uh, Henry. Uh, we at LCMC Health and at East Jefferson and all of our hospitals, all of our physicians, all of our nurses, thank you. Thank you for your leadership and dedication to Jeff Parrish. And Luis, I like even better, Bouquet of Hope. 
because even in the worst of times, when I remember Jim Hudson and Henry Shane, Jack Rizzuto, the rest of the board, it was tough, but the employees, one of the things every consultant recognized was the employees were so dedicated and so positive. And that was remarkable and I think surprising to them every time um, how dedicated and, and what hope every one of our employees here at EJ always had, that there would be a future, that they would be here, that we would make it work. So it really is the perfect, um, the perfect title for it. Um, we're gonna cut the ribbon officially. Um, and so if everybody, I know we have the, the shade of the tree um, right around this ribbon, come on and get in. We wanna document that we're all here um, and, and just saying thank you for all the, the hope and wondrous things that happen inside these walls of EJ. One, two, and three. <laughs>